Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking the time and being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm glad that I'm with you today. Uh, I'm Miroslav Dragan, Draganov. Uh, I'm a motivational speaker and coach for self-confidence, communications, and excellence. I'm founder of my personal brand, Keep On Smiling, Macedonian brand, and co-founder of Social Enterprise Co-Creators Club. Awesome. So let's dive into it. Thinking Grow Rich and Dr. Hill's principles. When did you start? How did you start? Oh, it was actually... Uh, 10 years ago, it was some, some month more than, a few months more than 10 years ago. It was at the beginning of 2009. And uh, in that period, I was part of one network uh, as, a, as an agent for mutual funds. And, and somebody from outside of the country was, uh, told, told us about uh, different books and different way of thinking. And because in that period, I was after some period of depression or you know like some something something which which was not so good for for uh, for me in that period uh, these these books and one of them was think and grow rich helped me a lot not only then in that period but later 10 years uh, after that i when i compare my life i can say that almost i implement everything from from the book that is awesome what are some of the principles that you utilizing today more than the others in your success so far? What are two principles that you could share with us? Uh, uh, I must say two principles that uh, uh, make me quite different from, from others uh, in our community, not only in Macedonia, but in the whole Balkans and maybe Southeast Europe, is um, desire, the first one, and which means not only desire, but uh, how to say, to... Uh, into yourself to say that there, there is no other choice. Only you, you will win or, or you will die, you know? I, I, I fired in every decision that I took in, uh, uh, in all these years. I just uh, fired my boats, you know, like uh, as the story, one of the story in the book. Uh, when I fired all my boats, uh, like closed the previous chapter, I can start even bigger in new chapters and uh, be my excellence, you know, like achieve my excellence. And the second thing is decisions, uh, like uh, no, no doubt, but just uh, first searching about the circumstances, searching about the consequences, and uh, bring as uh, faster as you can the right decision. Uh, because uh, one of my theories is uh, even the worst decision is better than no decision. Uh, and that, that's why, uh, that's why uh, these two principles like uh, desire, from inner self and uh, the decision can, uh, I must say, there must that that uh, uh, differs me from the others in, in my community, and that helped me to to write my book and to to achieve a lot of success in different areas. I agree with that a hundred percent. Not being indecisive, meaning not being able to make decisions after you have had the opportunity to examine all the facts and we have receiving the facts, meaning that they explain to you what the pros are, what the cons are, everything together in totality. You have had all of the materials that you need to make a decision. At that point, if you cannot make a decision in a very speedy manner, that means you're indecisive. Your indecisiveness also could be the cause of your not being successful. And the reason for that is because People want leaders that are able to make decisions. And unfortunately, a lot of times, that hesitation kills our opportunity. And a lot of times, you don't make it. So I agree with that. And, and That's true. That's you, true. Touched up on, you touched up on the burning desire. So here's my question. How do you create the burning desire? Uh, uh, it's something that, uh, that first I ask myself. Like, ask myself um, the reasons why I'm here and my purposes why I will be here. And that's the first starting point. And then I said, okay, so now what is, what is the like, current situation? That's the current situation from inner self, from myself. Okay, and what is the surrounding? The surrounding is this. And I first accept the surrounding. Like the second, the second thing, I accept the surrounding. 
And when I accept the like uh, external uh, circumstances, I said, okay, now I first, I should adjust myself a little bit that I'm living now in these new conditions. Like my inner self is this condition and out of, of me is uh, these circumstances. And then like first 3A, 3A. And then, and then the fourth one is a change, to make a change. Now I'm starting to make a change. And what is my burning desire in the in the very beginning what is you know like when you woke up wake up in the morning and the first thing that you you think like uh, continuously more days like uh, in the row and you're thinking about the same uh, the same thing for example when i i was establishing my personal brand and uh, writing of the book i was thinking no matter i was i was doing a lot of different uh, things you know I was thinking every day, like in every break, in the bus, in the car, you know, like when I'm on boat trip or anywhere, I'm thinking of that. And I, in every day, I, my burning desire is even bigger, bigger, bigger. And now when I connect with the change and I said, okay, now is the time I should change that, you know, and I will make a decision in that point. And no matter what happened, uh, uh, my, my thing, my thoughts are that I will keep on smiling, no matter what happened, because it's even easier to bring a decision, maybe it's not the best, but later to change, to adjust a little bit, but not only to stay like in the same position, because for example, in our community is very easier, someone else with bigger resources in that period, or just, you know, like to thrift or to stole, to, uh, stole your idea. So it's, it's better to, to start and later on to, to adjust a little bit. So, and then keep on smiling anyway. <laughs> I agree with that a hundred percent because a lot of people, the hesitation when it comes, it's you're building that habit. You're building that habit that I'm thinking I have thoughts, positive thoughts about my business. Sometimes there might be challenges. Nobody said a business was without a challenge, but me keeping a positive thoughts all the time, it's a habit that we gotta build. Once you build that habit, it will go a long way. It will change your environment, it will change your friends, it will change all your circumstances. So here's my last question. Okay. If cool. somebody has not read the book, Thinking Go Rich, why should they go buy the book and read the book? Um, they will understand every message by real story. And the story which is really uh, uh, like acceptable from all uh, generations, from no matter uh, which profession you are. So you should do that. And because uh, in every next uh, page, you will, you will ask yourself, what is next? What is next? I want, I want other principle. And I, I don't know how, but these 13 principles are, my, my favorite number is 13. So, <laughs> so somehow I, uh, I also will uh, motivate others to start the book, to understand it, and no, no matter which two principles or one principle, they will, they will find at least one story as these my favorite stories for the boats, that I fired my boats and go to win or to die, no other option. So they will find their own story which will be favorite and they will, they will accept that and start building their life to be better and better in every sense. Yeah, my, my favorite story is not burning my ships. My favorite story is three feet from gold. I see a lot of people quit too early on their success journey. I see a lot of people giving up too easily. I see a lot of people, they're literally three feet from gold and they drop the towel and they say, no, it's too hard, this, this. But the main point is if it was easy, everybody else would be doing it. If it was easy, then we wouldn't be calling it success. So sometimes you have to correlate that. And the only way you get that is by continuously studying the book and, and making these materials, in, building these materials into habits for yourself internally. It's not external, it's an internal job. Listen, I wanna thank you so much for taking this time and being with us. Hopefully we'll get to do more. I'm looking forward to do collaboration with you. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much, Makib, bye-bye. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.